If you are Filipino and grew up Catholic, make some noise. This is for you. We were the first Filipino family to move into Clinton, Maryland. It was so long ago, we came in on Carabao. <laughs> I called our entrance the Little Nipa Hut on the Prairie. As soon as we moved into our new home, my mom, who is a nurse, a hypochondriac, and super Catholic, started making the sign of the cross with Lysol. <laughs> I have two sisters named Faith and Charity. My name is Reggie. <laughs> there is no hope in the family. While I was growing up, my mom would say, Reggie, psst, why do you want to sleep over the neighbor's house there? They will murder you. <laughs> psst, come, why don't you practice your piano lessons? My mom gave me piano lessons because for Filipinos, it was like old-fashioned karaoke. A big hit was Memory from Cats. Reggie, come on now, play the cats. Your titos and titos are here to hear me sing the cats. Psst, come on, psst. Okay, Mom. Do, 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 do. Midnight, not as someone is crying. I am beautiful, dear. I, too, wanted to perform because I saw the movie Fame, and I could see myself breakdancing on top of lunch tables and taxi cabs. I was Irene Cara Coco Hernandez, and I wanted to go to the Duke Ellington School of the Arts in Washington, D.C. Reggie, you cannot go to the Duke Ellington School of the Arts. You have to stay in old boy Catholic school. Psst. Otherwise, it will lead you to mortal sins. <laughs> I went to confession every week. Father, forgive me for I have sinned. My last confession was yesterday. I know it's a sin to disobey your parents, but I scheduled an audition at the Duke Ellington School of the Arts. I already have a dance choreographed, and I need a three-minute monologue. So I took Jennifer Beale's monologue for the movie Flashdance. <laughs> she really doesn't have a monologue, but I strung all her lines together, and it just comes to under three minutes. Well, I never made it into the Duke Ellington School of the Arts. Instead, I went to Bishop McNamara High School, where for my junior year in the drama club, I got the title role in the play, Dracula. <laughs> but with all the white makeup on, I looked like Yoko Ono. <laughs> but I knew that I could be more than Yoko Ono, so I auditioned for television parts. And in Washington, D.C., I got a call back for America's Most Wanted to be a Vietnamese killer. <laughs> well, I never killed anyone, I'm not Vietnamese, but I can get this, I know I can. I can be more than Yoko Ono. So I told my mom and she said, Reggie, that is so good for you. I know that you could be the killer. <laughs> and she told everyone at church. <laughs> and they were praying that I would get the killer part. <laughs> let them be the killer, 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 let them be the killer. And I got the part, and everyone saw it, and they said, Mrs. Kubiko, your son was so great on America's Most Wanted. And she said, oh, well, yes, he was always very mean to me and his sisters. <laughs> so I got my first part in theater in D.C., playing a servant with no lines. I'd be coming home late at night, and my mom would be pacing back and forth. Reggie, where were you? I thought you died in a car accident. Psst, come. My mom took me to the other side of the living room, where there was a lighted glass stand with all of my awards. It was like each trophy had its own light bulb. It was like a trophy Christmas tree. <laughs> Mom, what's this? Reggie, this is your shrine. <laughs> but I'm just a killer with no lines. I, what is this? Reggie, I know that you will be an actor, and if you're an actor, do not do these soap operas, because you will lead the people to sin. Reggie. <laughs> You should be like Oprah. <laughs> Reggie, you are my Oprah. <laughs> but mom, I'm not the patron saint to your immigrant dreams. I'm not your Oprah. Thank you very much.